oyster farming, uh, it's like a lot of things. It can be as simple as you want to make it, or it can get as complicated as you want, where you grow oysters in an area where they really don't want to grow. To make it simple, you work in harmony with nature. Basically, the process is we, uh, I go out, or one of one of the boys or workers go out, and we fuel up the harvester, we fire it up, we head up to one of the leases. We harvest until we get either how much we need or how much we want for that particular day. They come into the shore, and they can be put off in the water and left in bags overnight, or they can be brought directly into the plant. They're taken from the tubs in the plant, washed, cleaned, graded, and the ones that are ready for market at that time can be sold. They're put into color-coded bags. We color code the bags so we know what different grades are in what bag. Then they'll go back out into the bay for storage until we have market for them. So it's a, it's a simple process. Well, I wake up in the morning. I feel the way I did when I was 19 or 20. Then I try to move. The reality comes home to me. But I have so much to look forward to when I drag myself out here and look out the window at the bay. I can go out on the bay, I can harvest. There's always something there that brings me close to nature. Something it, it's very difficult for me to put into words, but there always has been a relationship with, between myself and, and, and the land and the, and the creatures of the ocean and, and of the forest. You know, it's just all so much fun, I can't, I can't quite stop. <laughs>